I love the wind Visual world building. Reinhardt. He went back. Yep. He went back for his team. No! On my Overwatch cinematic journey, we're watching Overwatch animated short, Honor and Glory. Thanks to our Dragoon tier member, Paradigm Shift, for choosing this video. If you want to choose a video with me to react to as well, click that join button and become a Dragoon member. If you're enjoying our time together, please consider watching some of the other videos we've covered on this channel. Let's do it. Overwatch lore masters, join me in battle once again. Ooh. Cool vibe for the beginning. Blizzard presents. Very interesting for Overwatch, kind of castle, castle town feeling. Winston's message wasn't meant for you. Okay. This isn't your fight. Papa told me after so many years of service, you gave Overwatch everything, and then they pushed you out. Yeah, late night. Why would you so what I love is you gave everything, as I said before. Look at his scar. Look at his scar. You gave everything. Visual storytelling. So that's it. You're leaving us. Beautiful. I have been called. I must answer. It is a great honor. Uh, to disappear into some secret organization. Give up the glory of being a crusader? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Wait, is that? Uh, is that there in the ball? He he got picked. <laughs> <sighs> really fun visual the style. The crusaders are immortal defenders of Germany. People will be singing songs about our legacies. Our legacies are our deeds. He said Germany. And this war is bigger than all of us. I forget that this oh, takes place these? in our They're world. Coming. All right, people. They're playing our song. Stick with your dance partners. Let's crush those rust buckets. Here's your walking stick, old man. <laughs> I love Darren Paul. Live I've met him honor. and interviewed him. On the Dive channel. is glory. Ooh. Wow, what what a fighting style. Like mobile shields. Incredible. Wow. Ooh, what a shot. Amazing. Yeah, this is Visual world building. So good. They said protect your team. Oh no. Did he not protect his team? Oh no. It's foreboding. The sound is not terrifying. He's mine. <laughs> So he's just a solo. He, he doesn't think about anybody else. Yeah. Oh no, stronger than anticipated. Ooh, oh no. Is that how he lost his eye? That's how he lost his eye, isn't it? Ooh. Yeah. That's how he lost his eye. That's terrible. Yes. He abandoned them for glory, didn't he? Yeah. I had this. Obviously. And he still said I had it. That's actually crazy. Let's move. Wow. Yeah, he's a, he's addicted to the glory. Oh no, don't tell me his friend's not gonna make it or something. That door won't hold. Oh no. Get back to the eunuch. So Warcraft, the armor. He got hit. Let you have all the glory. <laughs> we will fight our way back together. Oh no. No. I'm staying here. He got hit because of Reinhardt. But I Without you, Lieutenant. Yeah, he's not gonna make you it. You took an oath to be a crusader. Oh no! No, keep it. I. Oh man, that's 
I won't leave you! Because of his selfishness. The team needs you. Be their shield. And he's so selfish. He's like, you're stronger than me. They need you more. I'm going to stay behind. Dang. <laughs> that is rough. Reinhardt, live with honor. Whoa. That's how he lost his eye. Great cinematic. Gives him his way. This glory, old friend. Wow. And this is real glory, not selfish. Not selfish action. Yes! His Kleos of the Dawn! Destroy them! No, not the team. Yes. Reinhardt! He went back, yep. He went back for his team. No! No! Good hit. Amazing. The music is so beautifully done. I love the muted sound design and the music has taken the forefront here. Really good choice by the director. Yeah. Oh my god. No. Story. Always. And that's just a monument to him now. <sighs> that was beautiful. I always have to answer. Always have to answer. Wow, that was that was really emotionally done. Yeah. I loved it. I loved it. That was amazing. Yeah, the music was really great. I would say the music is the standout for me. And I mean, Darren DePaul. Darren DePaul is awesome, man. I, I really enjoy his work. I interviewed him in the past um, at Comic-Con, I think it was. Yeah, at Comic-Con. Just, just an amazing person. I interviewed him for his work in Final Fantasy. Incredible guy. Um, he takes his job very seriously. Loves his work. He's just like the man. Um, like I said, if you're enjoying our time together, make sure to subscribe. Hop in our Discord. Become a member. All that fun stuff. Now let's look at some of this in detail. Yeah. I would say the music here is one of my favorites. Um, it's sort of in the traditions um, of like Boromir from Lord of the Rings, right? That sort of, let's cut the sound a little bit more quiet. Let's make it sort of echoing. And um, let's focus on the music, which is this kind of like emotional feeling, um, which tends to be from the perspective. This was interesting those scenes tend to work like this um, when the perspective, like for example, it's from Mary and Pippin's perspective. Um, you see them in shock as they're seeing from a low angle. It's from Mary and Pippin's perspective. Um, this mighty warrior who they look up to like an uncle or something falling, you know? So they've done sort of a similar thing here um, with the perspective shift being from someone else. It feels like it's from the perspective of Reinhardt. Um, and this, this is Baldric, his friend, um, watching Baldric fall, imagining that he's falling in battle, knowing what he did, um, caused this and his, his sort of lust for glory, personal glory, um, caused his friend to, to, you know, sacrifice. And it, this is a true moment, uh, a, a, a true warrior, a true sacrifice. Like I'm, you know, you're stronger, so you have to survive. I'll defend like, Wow. Really beautifully done. 
Yeah, there's that muted sound. And again, like this is why I say it's from his presented from his perspective to me, at least, because you know, this sort of him, look at his face, you know. And Baldrick at this point has already become a statue. At the end of it, Baldrick is literally a statue. Like it's a monument that he keeps as a reminder to his hubris, you know, uh, to his greed. Uh, but look, he's got a helmet on, man. We can't see. Um, we don't know what he's feeling. You know, he gets to kind of remain as this uh, as this legendary warrior. We don't get to see him break down. We don't get to see his fear. Um, you know, he's just a statue of, like, honor and glory. Uh, and, and as far as our friend... Um, but look. <laughs> Reinhardt, you can see his... You can see his emotion. Ah, he's crying out. You know, you can see his... You can see his fear of failure. The barrier is failing. You see the emotion, um, no doubt, weighing on him. What his what his friend is doing, and I think that's what's really powerful here. And I love how they give him like kind of a very kind face and a very understanding face. Uh, you know, the mustache and everything. It's very like almost nostalgic. I love it. Yeah, I like the shame of that scar. And that, that that's kind of what cool is. You know, going back to the beginning here. This is what I like so much about it. We have this sort of character reveal, as it were, um, a monument to your sins. That David Ruiz says in the chat, what a great way to put it. Um, this, isn't your this sort of character reveal for me, I haven't seen this guy yet in this uh, context. Papa told me. You know, this is, uh, is that really his daughter, by the way? Papa told me. After so many years of service, you gave Overwatch everything and then they pushed you gave Overwatch everything, and you see his eyes gone. Like what a what a powerful image, and that's that's what I love about it. Just cuts right to the to the core of it, and uh, is great visual storytelling. You, you know, because it just it answers the question before it's even a question. You gave Overwatch everything. Oh well, that's that's where his eye went. You know, oof, brutal. And he's just it's just drowned out. He's thinking back to his friend. Why would I go back to it? Because someone else sacrifice that i might have that chance a friend's daughter father of a different character okay yeah great transition here and so, i i love that connection like she's you know she's giving kind of like reasoning that makes sense on paper but someone who hasn't been in this situation you know fighting with friends um on the battlefield in this way and maybe has lost friends because of their selfishness cannot understand um what he's been through oh that's it you're leaving us. So it just fades out. Her her voice is just fading away compared to these memories which weigh so heavy on him. I have been called. I must answer. It is a And there it is, right? I have been called. I must answer. That's what he says at the end. Um he's living on the legacy of his friend. Right? It's like Final Fantasy VII. Beautiful story. Um, you know, he's he's living on the legacy of his friend in the best way he can. This is a true paragon. Uh I was, you know, I have to go because I was called. Um, I have to answer. It's almost like, you know, I follow orders. You see where I'm going with this? Like, unlike you. <laughs> you know? A great honor. Uh, to disappear into some secret organization. Give up the glory of being a crusader. <laughs> yeah. And of course, he ends up giving him the Overwatch thing. And uh, and he doesn't want to be in the shadows. But <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> and it shows his area. He's literally carving his own name. He got picked. <laughs> Carving his own name into the table. <laughs> like he's quite self-centered, you know. So the there's some great uh are immortal defenders of Germany. People will be singing songs about our legacies. Our legacies are our deeds. And this war is bigger than all of us. What a line, too. This war is bigger than all of us. Like, it's so good. Um, his friend, he's like an uncle. Okay close friend's daughter i love it his apprentice the east, they're coming all mm. right people they're playing our song stick with your dance partners let's crush stick with your dance partners, partners. Let's stick with your dance partners and look at this reaction so it's i'm getting feelings of of uh shame and also like oh he's not gonna help us so we gotta we got to fend for ourselves. This like invincible armor guy with all the abilities isn't going to help us. I've got like a World War II helmet <laughs> and like a bandana. Thanks, dude. 
Thanks. And this is cool. There's so much visual information here. Very quick, though. Buckets. Yeah. But I just love, like I said in the last video, like the world building here that's on display visually. Um, it reminds me like, um, you know, any Star Wars movie, really. But when you come back to the first ones you saw as a kid, if it was original trilogy, if it was the prequels, like I remember, I mean, man, the opening to uh, to episode one, Star Wars episode one, you've got like these droidica droids. You've got, uh, you know, Jedi fighting battle droids. This is like so much awesome visual language being told uh, that is world building information. And they're showing it, not telling it. They're not like, oh, this is a Jedi's weapon. It's like, no, this is this is what you do. The same thing here. I'm like, whoa, that's so cool. It's like a shield like you would have in like medieval times, but it's a shield that you hold up that is a, you know, uh, um, sort of like digital shield. It's very clever. I love it. Yeah. And what's important to note is here, his friend's fighting with like extremely good tactics. And then he just leaves his team alone and runs away like a lunatic. For personal glory. And then his friend is trying to like help his team and stuff. It's just... Yeah, and there's the uh, there's the hit that that killed him right there. There's the hit that uh, wounded him. Yeah. And what's important to note is he only got injured right here and died because he was defending Reinhardt, and that's the oof. That's rough. Uh, you can play. Oh, you can play on this in Overwatch. You can play on this map. That's so fun. Oof. But I mean, dude, he got. He got destroyed. Look at this. Oh my god. How is he even alive? Like, this injury is ridiculous. I mean, he, like, it goes through his entire torso. It's terrible. Yeah. I kind of like how they keep the injuries, um, kind of like, uh, I don't know what the word is. Not, not Disney-fied. You know, there's a little violence here, but, um... I like how they don't have to, you know, whatever. It, it doesn't work with the aesthetic. You don't have to have all this crazy violence. I think it's great how it is. Yeah. Get back to the unit. Uh, I will hold them off. <laughs> and let you have all the glory. <laughs> we will fight our way back together. That's what's so cool is like he's he's reveling. Back together. He's reveling in the fact that they're going to like fight together. and die together and stuff. And then this guy's kind of like a wake up call. Like, hey. Dude, no. you need to wake up, man. I'm staying here. But I. Yeah, but and you can see there his injury. Yeah. But I. Uh, without you, Lieutenant, you took an oath to be a crusader. Yeah, and now it's cool because he's not. Yeah, it's family friendly. Exactly. I like it. What I like about it is he's not. Uh, He's not even saying like, you know, oh, you got to be Overwatch and stuff. He's saying, you wanted to be a crusader, man. It's time to be one. You know, it's just powerful. No, keep it. Yeah. I... And he was going to go to Overwatch, so it actually makes more sense. Yeah. Be their shield. Be their shield. And I can only assume this plays into his gameplay, right? Be their shield, which is just so clever. And like, you yeah. feel the emotions as he plays Reinhardt. It's beautiful, you know? And man, Darren, like, is, is a standout in this. He killed it. Yeah. Like I said, when he puts that helmet on, he's a statue. Like, he, you don't get to see his uh, his demise. Which is kind of cool. It kind of preserves his heroism. And I like that. You know? He kind of gets that uh, moment of honor. And he's 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 immortalized for that. You know, he's he's like a he's a hero of old. And that's why I use that term, Kleos Aftitan. Uh, which is... Uh, essentially eternal glory um which is thrown around a lot uh when it comes to the trojan war and everything but it's an idea that you know someone when they reach the height of their glory um oftentimes is when they die uh simultaneously sometimes they'll push too far with hubris um and they'll say i can do this i can take on this opponent i can keep going i'll conquer the whole world and then that's when they usually fall um this is a little bit of a reverse but it's a similar concept you know he has like his most powerful battle in his last moments it's beautiful I also love that we see the cost of Reinhardt's stupidity right here and his arrogance. We see this, the soldiers falling, um, almost going to be completely destroyed, and then he comes in. Yeah. It's also significant because in the beginning, he's just going crazy. Like I said, yeah, stick with your dance partners. I'm going to go beat people up. And now he's really doing the right thing. That's a cool, 
it's a cool evolution then we watched this already yeah over again but i love that idea like it really is it's it's the same place like that's powerful man that's powerful they keep it like that so yeah i love that it's a statue it's a monument to his failure but also a reminder of uh who he has to be and that he took this man's place possibly a greater man this is the man who saved his life he would have died without this man and he has to you know with that knowledge live on that's pretty awesome every time he looks in the mirror man that scar right on his face every time he looks in the mirror Every time he, you know, realizes his uh, his his eye is gone, he's gonna be thinking about that moment, and that's that's what is a really cool backstory for the character. It builds so much into it, but I love it. Fantastic work. Um, a crusader's armor is their tomb, says Cassius. Oof, is it just like un unable to be opened or something? That's fascinating. Yeah, love it. There's a drastic spike in Reinhardt players after this. <laughs> that's awesome. I love it. Um, fantastic work. 24 million views deserved. Very, very well done. But I love this one. Really into the Overwatch right now. Yeah, thanks so much for the suggestions, guys. Um, that is going to be it for our celebration tonight. We covered two more really long, awesome cinematics.